very excited. Big show. Right. Uh, we, big show. A big, big show, oh, big, big uh, show. largely because you're here. Oh. For people who don't know, Matt Asner is here with us. From the Matt Asner, is it the Center for Excellence? I always mess up the words. School it's, 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 it's the Ed, Ed Asner, Asner Family Center. Not the Matt Asner. The I'm Ed sorry. Asner Family Center. It's okay. Center. It's like I it's had a lobotomy. Nava Asner, Matt Asner, <laughs> and Ed Asner. Matt Asner. So. Uh, okay. And this is a fairly new... Uh, Very new. March. And I mean, this is like, you know, it's, I, I would say this has probably been seven, eight years in the making, right. I would say. Yes. Planning Long it for seven, planning. eight years. We talked about it a little bit. Right. And, um, and it's something that uh, that through our collective uh, experiences through the world of autism, we realized that we needed to kind of take care of the whole family. And so that that was the kind of impetus in, in, in us putting this together. So the mission for the organization is to care for the whole family yes. as well as the child with autism. Yes. For, so for the for the child with special needs, we would have arts and vocational enrichments. Mm -hmm. And and the interesting thing about this is we're not um, there. There's going to be some of our own programs, mm -hmm. but a lot of the programs we're we're having in, into the center are programs that are established and that we feel are progressively you know enriching to the community. So something like Spec Labs right. and, and uh, Miracle Project and and uh, autism, autism works now movement. and autism movement therapy. Yeah. Um, these are all programs that um, that we have have been through, and that we respect. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a, a wonderful kind of opportunity to kind of put everything together in one uh, location, and and have people thrive in one location. Right, right, it's a fabulous thing. And now we, you've got an event happening on Saturday. We do one of one of a couple of events we have coming up. Yes. Okay, talk to us. So we have a we have the Ed Asner and Friends Poker Tournament coming up on Saturday. It's the sixth time we've done this. We've did it mm -hmm. done it for other uh, uh, nonprofits before this. Uh, so Autism Speaks was a recipient, and and so was uh, was Autism Society. But now, uh, it comes but now home. it's the Ed Asner Family Center. So uh, I'm excited. We're doing it in Culver City at the Playa Studios. Uh, we got a lot of celebrities. Tell us some uh, of the people coming. that are coming. Well, we have uh, Tom Arnold. Right. So I'm hoping maybe he can. Bring some tapes with them. Just joking. Just joking. Um, uh, we have uh, uh, Diedrich Bader. We have. Um, I love. We have uh, Elizabeth Perkins, um, that you'll remember from Big. Right. Uh, we have. And um, she just was in that. Lou Diamond Phillips. Phillips. Lou Diamond Phillips. Ed Begley Jr. Ed Begley Jr. Michael Chiklis. Uh, I don't know if Michael's coming okay. or not. He's he was on the list, okay. but I don't know if he's coming I or not. I don't know whether this. You know, is it, the, the wonderful thing about this is that. Eric Roberts, who uh -huh. I just saw in Star 80. If you haven't seen that film, it's like okay. insane. Um, the wonderful thing about this poker tournament is you, you you come to the poker tournament. If you play poker, you sit at a table. You, you're almost guaranteed of sitting with a celebrity. Right. And it's just it's just fun. It's it's like uh, you know leave your ego at the door. Right. Everyone's there for the same reason, and we raise some good funds for for a worthy cause and have a lot of fun doing it. Good. Every good. event has its own flavor. But this event is the wild event of the of the season. I'm you sorry. Never know you never what's going to happen. You don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. And and I like to say that, you know, you go to a lot of events and there are celebrities and there are people who really want to meet celebrities. Right. Let's be honest right. about this, right. right? And sometimes, you know, you get to meet them in passing. But I really think that this event is the one, if you want to be rubbing elbows with celebrities, this is the one to go to because you sit at the table with them and play poker and then somebody gets out and people congregate and conversations and things happen. Yeah. We, there are no barriers. And there were some, there and, was some and it's, stuff. It's, it's a wonderful thing. Well, I think Lou Diamond Phillips was very excited that Randy Rainbow was there last year. And I, I was trying and you've got to, it on film. I was trying to get an interview with Randy Rainbow because I'm a huge Rain, Randy Rainbow fan, and I was so excited that he was there. And Lou Diamond Phillips was there, and um, mm -hmm. Andy Dick was there. So it was the four of us in a room together. And Just, Lou, just saying that gives me goosebumps <laughs> right? and, and makes me worry. And I was just hang, <laughs> I was hanging out with the four of them trying to get an interview with Randy Rainbow. And Andy Dick was making a lot of comments. Right. And I said, I'm going to go live, you guys, on Facebook. And that's when Lou Diamond Phillips said, just record what I'm about to do. <laughs> 
and then he shined <laughs> Randy Rainbow's shoes. It was quite a moment. Uh, while I narrated it, and he was, you know, she, I, I'm telling you, I will be talking about that uh, on the day of my funeral. Sounds like it a was, wild time. But it wasn't it was. the most wild thing. No. We, we even put out a crazy. video that were like, here are some things that happened because some crazy stuff happened there that was fun. I'm not talking crazy bad. No, um, it's just, it's you know, people come there and it's just fun and you're playing poker, so you're you're automatically in this kind of mode of, you know, fun. Yes. And uh, and the great thing about, the other great thing about the, the tournament is that it's not just a tournament, tournament. it's a party. It's a big party. Exactly. You, you don't have to play. If you don't play poker, you can come and kind of enjoy the food and drink uh, and games and that we have there. And watch the poker players. Yeah. Yeah, and see, yeah. And it's see them in action. And there are things that you can bid on. There are things yeah. being auctioned that yeah. are yeah. great auctions. Great things. Things. Opportunity auction. Opportunity drawing. You have a live auction too? We do. Okay. We uh, did and a, a lot trips. of money is raised. Okay. Yes. For a very good cause. Yes. Tell us again how people can find out how they can go it's there. It's very easy. You can go to pokerwithed.com. Okay. We made it very easy. Okay. Pokerwithed.com and register there. I believe that we have no more poker seats left. But there which are. Which is great. But just they, watching it, seats, right? We have, you know, you can a come couple. and enjoy and have drinks right. and, and food. Right. And it's cheap. It's $100. So, uh, and then. I think there's a waiting list for poker. So if you want to get on the waiting list, just let us know and we'll put you on a waiting list. And okay. I think, you know, as people start leaving the game, you can kind of enter the game. Right. Give right. you a bit of an edge on maybe winning too. Right. I don't know, if you right. come in late. Yeah. Right. And right. honestly, if you're in the area, best hundred dollars. If, you, if you've always wanted to go to a Hollywood party that is yeah. like worthy of talking about, this is a hundred dollars and you're gonna get some cool things to eat and you know a bar. I we mean, have an amazing, cool. amazing uh, uh, caterer who's doing. An, I mean, she read me the, the list of food that she's doing, uh, and her name's Gwen, and I, I can't Keenley, Gwen Keenley, okay. and and she's uh, she's incredible, uh, and she's making all this food. So, so great food. We need people drinks. to come and eat it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, so you should okay. go if you absolutely can't because you live in Timbuktu and there's no way that you can get here by Saturday. I will say that we will be live on the red carpet at five o'clock. Yes. Um, and we will be covering the red carpet. We don't cover the poker tournament because we, you know, you're not allowed to be filming during the poker tournament. Although I can't promise that we won't do something in the back room like we did with Randy Rainbow last year. <laughs> That's fine. I can't, I, but you know, it's only at Matt's discretion, of course. But um, you definitely want to be watching the red carpet because stuff happened on the red carpet last year that was crazy. Um, and but if you can get there, hundred dollars, best hundred dollars you can can ever spend if you at all like to be where things are happening. Now, um, for people who want more information just about the center, where should they go? They should go to edasnerfamilycenter.org. Okay. And um, it's all there. And uh, we have a lot of amazing things coming up. We're going to announce a gala that we're having on November 15th. Okay. Uh, that uh, is going to be really exciting. I'm not going to let the cat out of the bag okay, yet. Don't. But okay. We're honoring three serious. people uh -huh. and a major... Performer is performing, and it's okay. going to be a lot of fun. Uh, so we'll announce that probably later this week. Uh -huh. And I can come back and talk about that Please. later. Yes. Uh, we have a, an auction that we're doing through Heritage uh, Auctions um, uh -huh. in October that's going to be a lot of fun. It's all comic book art, original oh, comic book art. Oh. And it's all going to the center. So we're excited about that as well. Matt, Very you good. always do things that my husband gets excited about. They're all, you well, always I'm a come geek up, at heart. So. <laughs> but you all, well, and my husband is obviously, but you always have these things that my husband is like, oh, that's so cool. Whenever I say, oh, this is happening, Matt's doing this event, it's always things that he gets excited about. Well, good. I'm um, glad. Well, uh, yes, and his head will spin if you're doing uh, comic I, book art. I like graphic doing, novel art. Excuse me. Oh yeah, well this this is all kind of like that. So <laughs> I like doing things that are that are. Um, uh, that push the envelope a little bit, mm -hmm. and um, so all the stuff I do is kind of scary to some people, but it's all <laughs> kind of fun. <laughs> scary, I think it's exciting and innovative and well, cutting edge. It's out there, it's and it's fun. fun. So you've got a lot going on. We do, we do, and the, we have to have a lot going on, right? You know, because we we want to open this. The, the center wants to open in October, in, in beginning of October. Okay. We, you know we're looking at properties. You mean have a per permanent home. We we're looking at permanent homes right now, and you know it's important that we raise enough money so we can sustain and, and get out there and yeah. really help this community. Right. Because but you have but you haven't been paralyzed. You guys just did an amazing. Uh, camp no, we did ed. a camp. Yeah, we did yeah, a camp. Yeah, you had uh, camp this summer. Yeah, and, I, and I'll tell you, I give my wife. 
a hundred percent of the She's credit amazing. because Nava Paskowitz asked her. Yes, and she she you know she went out there and she said you know we're going to do a camp and uh, that's and I was like really we're going to do a camp. <laughs> she said yeah we're going to do a camp and we did a camp, and it was amazing. And it and went really well. I was uh, I was won over by by her incredible work. Right. She's, Amazing. Well, she is a tour de force, and uh, the camp was amazing. I got to come, uh, I came twice, but I actually got there on time once to be there for your sort of daily closing ceremonies. And oh. I was saying earlier Incredible. that, uh, you know, everybody gets together and stands in a circle and does a different exercise in the day that I was there. They went around the room and asked everybody if they wanted to, to say one word for what they were experiencing. Yeah. And I said in, uh, that I was inspired. Yeah. I said inspiration is the word. I get misty thinking about it because it was really incredible what you guys had going on. Really incredible. And, and to see the progression that these kids took, uh, you know, throughout the camp. You know, they started a certain way and they, they ended a, a, a totally different yeah. way. And they were all, you know, wonderful to watch. It was wonderful to watch them. I was lucky enough to go on, on a field trip with them. And that was incredible fun. And, and I, can I just say, too, that you guys walk your talk, um, that you had individuals of all abilities mm -hmm. there, and you had um, young people that were on the spectrum that were working as, I don't know what you call them, but junior counselors that well, were there to support yeah. the staff. That's really important to us, that, that, we, that we hire people who are on the spectrum and, uh, you know, who walk the walk. And, yeah. Um, you know, we had an incredible uh, young woman, Amy, who, who uh, did the art class, who uh, is on the spectrum, and, uh, and a gentleman, Jack uh, Brazil, who was incredible. Uh, th these are all incredible people who have a lot to offer society. And, and um, you know, we, we hired them because they were the best person for the job. There right. you go. And, and they were incredible. And you're going to continue to incorporate this in the Ed Asner Family Center activities? 100%. Hiring people on the spectrum yes, to do the one of the reasons we wanted to start this is we right. wanted to, we wanted a place where people could work and they could thrive and they could uh, they could grow and uh, and and you know that's what that's what we're going to do. Okay, it's an amazing amazing thing. So again, poker tournament this Saturday. Uh, it starts the red carpet starts at five. What time do you actually start paying, playing poker? Oh, probably. 5.30. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's All right. Short red carpet. But you never uh, know. Once again, where they Well, the red, they... carpet, the red carpet starts earlier, I think. So you might want to check oh, that. So the red okay. carpet, I think, starts around 4.30, okay. 4.15 4 or something All right. like that. Right, because registration so. and cocktail and buffet is at 5 o'clock. Yeah. Oh, okay. So we'll get people in, get them seated. So, you know what, probably 6 o'clock. Okay. But who's counting? All right. Poker tournament starts at 6 o'clock. Is that what it says? Oh, okay. I should know she knows I more than I do. Including so. silent and live auction. Okay. So okay. that's you gotta be there by six to and catch we got all some that. Great, great, great stuff. I've been hearing that your bidding. auction stuff is really yeah. uh, it's always on point, but I'm hearing it's extra special, fabulous this year. Y yeah, and, that's and what you, the rumor is. You could actually walk away with the TV tomorrow night if you're lucky. That's part of the opportunity for okay. me. Nice TV and and I don't know if you've ever seen Love Sack. Oh yeah, love so sack. We, we, What's we, that? We, we, oh, the we bats. have a, a giant. Wyatt would love a love sack. Yeah. Oh yeah, okay. we have a giant love sack that is part of our opportunity drawing. Okay. Okay. And you know, what I'm, is a I'm love sack? Can I ask? I actually could sleep on that thing. It's so comfortable. Well, there's a lot of different kinds of love sack. Uh -huh. but the original love sack was like a really uber high end bean bean bag chair. chair. Okay, but like, but it's not a bean bag. bag. But it's, it's but right. it's the bean bag so chair of more. your dreams. Okay. <laughs> and and then they went into making different types of furniture and and but it was all it's all high end, really good stuff. And honestly, some of our centers have uh, a love sack in them, and okay. our kids on the spectrum. Oh my gosh! Yeah, our center, our centers, our center has love sack. Our there camp had a love sack. Okay. We we have and we're gonna have them in the center.